find a harmonic conjugate of u of xy equals x squared minus y squared minus x plus y. Let's go ahead and work it out. Solution. So to find a harmonic conjugate of u is the same thing as saying that we need a function v such that f equals u plus iv is analytic. That's precisely what it means to find a harmonic conjugate of u. In other words, we have to find a function v such that the cauchy riemann equations are satisfied. So it est, we need a function v such that we have the cauchy riemann equations. So u sub x, that's the partial of u with respect to x, should be equal to v sub y. That's the first equation in the cauchy riemann equations. And u sub y is equal to negative v sub x. So all we have to do is find a function v that satisfies these conditions. So whenever you're looking for a harmonic conjugate, this is all you do. OK, so what is u sub x? Well, that's the partial derivative of u with respect to x. So I'll work it out over here. So u sub x. Well, when you take the partial with respect to x, all of the y's are constants. This would just be 2x. Then the derivative of y squared is 0. The derivative of x is 1, so you get minus 1 and the derivative of y is 0. Then uy, that's going to be equal to, well, the derivative of x squared is 0. The derivative of negative y squared is negative 2y. The derivative of negative x is 0. The derivative of y is 1. Just taking the partials of u with respect to x and with respect to y. So we want this to be equal to vy. And we want this to be equal to negative vx. All right, I'm going to go ahead and solve for vy and vx. In other words, I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides of this second equation by negative 1. So let me go ahead and, and write it uh, down over here. So we have vy equals 2x minus 1, just writing it again. And then vx, so we'll multiply uh, both sides of this equation by negative 1, right? So we'll have, looks like, 2y uh, minus 1. Okay, now we're just going to do it uh, a different way than what I usually do. Usually I uh, integrate one, then differentiate it, and set it equal to the other. This time let's take a quicker approach. I'm just going to integrate both. So first we're going to integrate v sub y with respect to y. So when we integrate it with respect to y, we get 2xy minus y plus an unknown function of the other variable. So let's call it h of x. Right, just integrating with respect to y. And that's equal to v. Now let's integrate the second one with respect to x. Right? So we're going to integrate this one with respect to x. So we get 2yx minus x plus an unknown function of the other variable. Let's say that's g of y. That's also equal to v. So now we're going to be really, really cheap, and we're just going to use matching. <laughs> and that should give us the answer. So the answer is v equals... So they both have 2xy. Let's just look at the first one. So 2xy, 2xy. So we have 2xy minus y. Then we have plus h of x. Well, h of x must be negative x. Right? Likewise, g of y must be negative y. So this is the function v uh, that we needed in the problem. That's it.